President Cyril Ramaphosa will be the main speaker at today's event, marking 27 years since the country's first democratic election. The program will start with the opening and tour of the Charlotte Matlake Rehabilitation Center. The theme of this year's celebrations is the year of Charlotte Matlake, the meaning of freedom under COVID-19. SBC News reporter Palisa Mueti joins us live now for more. Palisa, you have spoken to the Minister of Arts and Culture and several people leading up to the president's address. What's the latest? Well, right now I'll be joined by the Free State Premier, um, Mrs. Indombela, just to talk about development in the Free State as a build-up towards today's activity. Premier, thank you very much for talking to us. Let's just talk about the protests that we've seen in the province. This event was supposed to happen in Winburg. The people there are not happy because it's been moved. They believe that they had something to benefit out of it. I understand that there's plans to take the president there at some point. What's going on now? What's, what's the latest? Uh, me, uh, 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 Balisa, I'm sure everyone is aware about uh, poor service delivery across the province, not only in this province, all over. And I'm sure everybody is aware that uh, COVID-19 disturbs us a lot. But besides that, most of our people are unemployed. And most of our people are not paying services because of they are not working, they are unemployed. And most of the municipalities are depending on equitable share. Especially small places like Bowenbeck and other small places. You know, they are, there is no income at all. So service delivery is very, very poor. And I don't blame them for them to say, Please, President, come. You know, everybody wants to see President. It is their right to say, President must come, so that we must come and talk to the President. Unfortunately, this is the year of uh, Meshalo Matleke. All of us know that this year has been declared as uh, the year of Meshalo Matleke. And uh, here is the, uh, you know, the center, the drug center that has been built by Free State. You must remember, Free State has never had a drug center. While our people were complaining to say, you know, our children are dying, you know, and this is the first drug center in the Free State. We, don't, we never had one. And this drug center is going to assist our youth a lot. And this drug center is named after Charlotte Matlake. That is why the presidency saw it important that they must come and launch this drug center in Bitsabelo. But besides that, I have also discussed the matter with the president to say, we make people by our back, like they want to see you. And the president agreed and said, no, I will definitely make time and go to Winbeck. And I am going to make sure that the president to Oyaya Winbeck and meet with the Winbeck people. It, is, it was really unfortunate. But it was not to say, no, he must not go to win back. I am going to make sure. And even in ESCO meeting, we had our own meeting in ESCO, and we said before even the president, Adler, we will go there as ESCO and try to solve the problem that the win back people are having. You must remember, win back is a very special uh, place for us. When we talk about um, issues of service delivery, yes. when we talk about the high unemployment rate, yes. you know, and we, today we're celebrating Freedom Day. Can we really, really celebrate Freedom Day amidst these conditions? You know what? We're not, we're not, we're not we, we, we must celebrate Freedom Day. It, it, it doesn't mean we, uh, we have failed dismally. We have achieved so many things, uh, 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 Palisa. Today we are free as women. Look at me now. We are free. Today we have electricity that we never had before. Today we have water, even if we are still struggling with water. But today we do have water. Today, you know, our children, you know, back in the goal. We must celebrate freedom. We are free today. It's just that we are still not there. But we are getting there. And we must work with the community to take them where we are supposed to take them. We must celebrate freedom. Thank you very much. That Thank is the Palisa. Free State Premier, Mrs. Sintombella, just saying that, you know, despite the challenges that we're facing as a country, Freedom Day is still worth celebrating right now. We are just waiting now um, for the president to arrive, you know, for the centre to be officially opened. The plaque is just behind us right now. But, you know, um, obviously just before he walks in, there'll be a band uh, from the SNDF that will be welcoming him. So with that, it's just back to you in studio as we monitor developments here in Botsabelo.